This is Fix It with Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. Just giving you another quick look at another set of puzzles that I've received to review. Again, I really like these. I feel like puzzles are one of those um, key quintessential things that I remember from my childhood, especially in kindergarten. I wasn't one of those folks that went to pre-K or daycare. I was with my grandmother and I played puzzles with her. But um, when I think about school in those early days, I just remember loving playing puzzles. And little ones like these, I just feel like are great for kids and, you know, learning how to really maneuver things and understanding context and associations with, you know, pieces and getting them all in the proper position. So again, this is another set that I received to review. Um, some of these have smaller pieces that could be choking hazards. And because my daughter is not yet um, of age to use these, these are recommended for ages three and up. Some of these I wouldn't let her play with just yet, but I would let her just interact with them since they are sealed in um, shrink wrap because I do think it's great for her to kind of get associated with the shapes. Unlike the other set that I reviewed, these do not have any words with them and they don't have as much detail but they are made by the same brand and they did come along with another set um, or a storage bag which I think is just awesome because this makes it great for traveling and on the go let's say we were going um, somewhere to visit folks even in the car or if we were traveling out of town and had to fly somewhere I would pack this up put it in the bag put it in the suitcase if we had to fly somewhere right now nobody's talking about flying anywhere but in normal circumstances if we had to fly somewhere and had a layover I would feel comfortable even packing this up to take um, to the airport um, having on the plane because there's few pieces and it comes with its own travel bag and storage bags so I just think that's awesome. Um, one like this that has larger pieces, I would feel okay maybe even opening up this one and letting her play with my supervision. But the ones with the smaller pieces, um, these two especially, I wouldn't quite let her play with just yet. Um, but these ones, since they have bigger pieces, I love ladybugs and... Um, teddy bears as well I might let her try out these and just see um, getting her to understand you know putting things in place and pieces I again think that that early exposure is really important and something that I would like to start doing with her um, so that's my thought of these just my little unboxing of them all so they came stored in this box um, I mean, if I really wanted to keep them stored still in here, I could, but I probably won't because I'm trying to minimize things, get um, boxes and packaging out of the house um, sooner rather than later um, versus keeping them around. So, again, this was all stacked up like this. This was folded like this, and everything was contained in this one little box. So... As always, this is Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. Now that I have a little one, we'll be getting more into the family parts of life. And I apologize for my cruddy nails. I've been gardening all day and have not sat down to really um, clear those out. I just came back home from the garden not too long ago. But anyway, this is Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. Um, as always, I do believe that we all have a gift talent or something in us that God has given us to really solve and fix some of the problems that exist around us in the world and if you have yet to figure out what that thing is I pray that you would seek God really take some time within yourself to find those things and the next time that um, we're together I pray that you're able to find those things and fix it until next time take care thanks for watching